Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do some survey branching logic within your Salesforce survey. So the first thing that you'll need to do is if you don't already have surveys enabled, go into setup and then search for surveys and then toggle that on. And then you should be able to come over here back to the front end and in the three by three search for surveys and jump into it. Okay, so I have already created a customer satisfaction survey and that's going to be the one that we will be working on. I'm gonna come over here to the down carrot and open the latest version. All right, and that'll bring us to the survey builder. I've already done the welcome page and the thank you page. So we're just gonna jump into creating the pages for the logic. A little bit of background on the logic. So I'm gonna create a score system of ranking how satisfied the customer was. And if the score was below, let's say a six, then we want to go to a page that talks about improvements or gives them a space to talk about what we can do to improve our product or our customer journey. So I'm gonna add those two pages. Let's go ahead and add page here. Let's add the first ranking. Um, I'm gonna do net promoter score here actually, cause that's easy. Please rate your interaction with our brand. All right, and I misspelled interaction, but we're gonna correct that. All right, and that's gonna be just the, the first page. I'm gonna call this page the rate interaction page. Now that we've created this page, we're gonna create the page that it's gonna to go to if that score is six or below. So let's go to add a page. I'm gonna name this to improvements. And then I'm gonna have this be long text and then answer or have my question be, we're sorry to hear about your poor experience. And I need to re-spell experience. Please let us know what we can do better. All right, I am going to quickly save this. Okay, so now that we have those two pages ready to go, what we can do is then create the branching logic. So I'm gonna start off on the page that we're gonna branch off from, or the page that controls the logic. So that's gonna be the rate interaction page. And then over here, you can see that there's a little branch with arrows, and that'll bring us to the page branching logic stage. So now we have a few different things that we can choose. We can either choose to go to a page based upon conditions or every time. Personally, I like to do it based upon conditions because every time would just be like the whole survey, unless there was some other logic hiding it. I am going to select the page that we're gonna to go to improvements. Um, you can choose it when all conditions are met or any conditions are met. So you could have multiple conditions of, well, if it's this plus this, or if it's just this, it's this or this. You can choose those based upon the scenario that you're working on. Let's go ahead and do all conditions. Um, I'm just gonna add one set of logic. So essentially you could use either of those. I'm gonna select logic response to question, enter um, the question. So it's please rate your interaction with our brand. The operator is gonna be if it's equal, doesn't equal, that kind of thing. I'm gonna say if it's less than or equal to a net promoter score of six. So anytime it is equal to six or below, then we should get the improvements page. We could add a condition here, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna create the rule and then save the logic. And then again, save the whole survey. But that is kind of a quick and dirty how to do page branching logic within your Salesforce survey. Of course, you can do this upon other requirements, but this one is pretty simple to kind of help you understand how this page branching logic works. You could make this very complex depending on your survey, but because this is a survey, I would recommend not making it too complex for your customers. So then you can get the most feedback. Sometimes if surveys are too long, then customers will abandon their survey and you won't get a lot of data. But that's for you to go ahead and test out with your customer base. Don't forget to test out the page branching logic with a super user or another admin just to double check your work to make sure that it works correctly. Once you are done with this, you are gonna save and then activate this. One thing about surveys that I do wanna mention before hopping off this tutorial is that 
you do need to activate it. And then if you want to edit it at all, then you'll need to deactivate it, create a new version, and then edit that subsequent version. It is very similar to flows in that way. But with that being said, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at EmilyCallMBA. You can check out the courses at salesforceupskill.com. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.